everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in for this month's Tampa Bay Real Estate Market Report. My name is Rachel Sartain Tenpenny, and I'm excited to bring to you some of our local real estate news. I will let you know the market has been very slow. However, I did find a couple of areas that are thriving, and I'm excited to share those with you. Not only are we going to talk about the thriving markets, we're also going to look at the inventory, interest rates, buyer demand, and housing prices. Okay, so let's jump in and see what markets are actually thriving. And it's probably going to shock you because it shocked me is the condo market. Condos in Hillsborough County for the month of June had an average sales price that increased 54%. I was shocked by that number. So I wanted to dive in to see what caused it. And just to clarify the condo market, it has condominiums, townhomes, and villas. So I took the townhomes and villas out and just looked at condominium sales. Of the approximately 200 condos that sold, 56 of those were new construction. And of those 56 new construction, the average sales price was $2 million. So right there, that $2 million average sales price really pulled up the average as a whole for the month of June. And I wanted to also see what's happening in the Pinellas County condo market. So let's look at the St. Pete Clearwater area. In Pinellas County, there were 545 condos that sold in the month of June. That's down tremendously. That's down 28% from the year prior for the same month. If you're looking in downtown St. Pete, you probably see a lot of new construction condos going on. However, those condos haven't closed yet. And so we're not seeing the impact that we saw from the Tampa condo market. The bulk of condo sales in Pinellas County were below 600,000. However, there was a shining spot in the three to $4 million price point. We saw a higher demand for that price point for the number of units that are available than any other price bracket that's currently on the market. I don't know that you can actually call the condo market a thriving market, but if you dive in and look, there are some areas that are doing better than others. And that's what I wanted to point out to you. The next question is what's going on with the inventory? I'm sure you've heard that inventory is stacking up and it is, but there's not necessarily more sellers coming to the market every week. So if you look at the number of people who are putting their home up for sale week over week, it's about the same as we saw last year, but there aren't buyers to purchase those properties. So the inventory is piling up and now we have more inventory on the market than we've seen since 2019. The great news is if you're looking to buy a home, you have so many more choices and you have time to make the best decision for your next purchase. We currently have a property under contract right now, and the buyer took three weeks before deciding to make an offer. Now, I'm not saying that you should take three weeks before making an offer, but you do have more time to do your due diligence and make sure it's a smart purchase. And speaking of buyers having more options out there, there aren't very many buyers to compete with. So that's another good thing if you are in the market to purchase a home. However, most buyers have come out of the market because they're waiting for interest rates to drop. Talking to a few buyers over the last couple of weeks, I found out, guess what? They're not just waiting for interest rates to drop, they're waiting for interest rates and home prices to drop. Interest rates have recently dropped and they are now down to 6.4% as of a couple of days ago. And even though inventory is increasing, we're not seeing a big reduction in home sales prices. Buyers who are hoping to see home prices drop might be out of luck because actually home prices are still increasing. They're not increasing as fast as they were a year or two ago, which is great news. The average sales price in Pinellas County for a home it, right now is about 688,000. If you jump over to Hillsborough County, it's 586,000. The annualized appreciation of these homes has slowed dramatically. However, we're not seeing a decrease in home prices. And the fear is as interest rates continue to drop, more buyers are going to enter the market and again, push home prices back up. If you are looking to buy a home right now, it's great news because you don't have the competition. There aren't buyers out there. They're sitting on the sidelines 
and sellers are willing to make many more concessions in order to get their home sold. What kind of concessions are sellers willing to make? Well, essentially anything and everything. I've seen a rate buy down concession. What does that mean? You might think that getting the seller to reduce their price by $10,000 is gonna save you a lot of money on your monthly mortgage, but it's not. However, if you can get that seller to take the same $10,000 and buy down your rate, you're gonna save hundreds of dollars on your monthly mortgage. Other concessions that you might think about, right now we're working with a seller who's willing to pay 12 months of HOA fees for a buyer who purchases his, his condominium. You can also ask a seller to pay for a year's worth of flood insurance costs or homeowner's insurance costs. There are all kinds of creative concessions out there that you as the buyer can ask the seller and right now the seller is willing to do it. Overall, the Tampa Bay real estate market, home prices are still pretty healthy, but we wanna watch and see how buyer demand increases over the next couple of weeks as we expect interest rates to keep dropping. We hope you found this information helpful and we really want to bring you some of the most reliable market statistics on a monthly basis. To check out our latest listing tour, go ahead and click up here and don't forget to subscribe down below. Looking forward to seeing you next month.